hello friends in my previous video i have already discussed about uh, the differentiator code in matlab okay what is the theory and how to write the code for differentiator discrete differentiator in matlab already i have discussed if you want to check the detailed explanation of my previous video please go through the link given in the description okay so now in my this video i am going to show you one example based on that concept okay that is simple differentiator response to a rectangular pulse okay so basically you might have already studied in your signals and system course that is suppose you have one kind of rectangular pulse which is like this okay suppose this is t1 and this is t2 then what is the expression of this very simple from the basic concept of digital signal processing or signals and system itself we can say u of t minus t1 minus of u of t minus t2 is the expression of this rectangular pulse why you can easily understand see u of t minus t1 so t1 is obviously here we are assuming that t2 is greater than t1 as it is clear from the uh, particular figure also so what will be the graph for uh, u of t minus t1 it will uh, start from t equal to t1 and for all the values greater than equal to t1 it will take unit step will take one so this is basically from from t1 and what will be the graph for u of t minus t2 u of t minus t2 will start from uh, t2 and it will go on like this so this is the range for t2 right now if we add if we subtract these two see what will happen eventually after subtraction this whole part which is situated in the right hand side of the t2 time that is this particular part will be cancelled out after subtraction and only this particular part will be remaining as our output signal uh, after subtraction and the graph will look like this see very simple so this will be suppose t1 and this will be t2 so this is the signal representation of u of t minus t1 minus of u of t minus t2 now the question is this is one rectangular pulse same concept i have just explained in continuous domain you just map it to discrete domain same only because in continuous domain you can e easily understand or visualize everything so that i have drawn in continuous domain now if you have to differentiate this signal what kind of response you will get see u of t you know that the derivative of unit step is nothing but what impulse or unit impulse we can say so basically u of t minus t1 after differentiation we will get delta of t minus t1 u of t minus t2 after differentiation we will get delta of t minus t2 so basically our graph will be delta of t minus of t1 minus of delta of t okay minus t2 all right so how the plot will look like the plot will look like kind of like this at t equal to t1 there will be one spike due to delta of t minus t1 this particular term and at this is at t equal to t1 and at t equal to t2 there will be another spike but as a minus sign is there so it will go in the downward direction okay this is t2 here also amplitude will be one here also amplitude will be one okay it is multiplied if suppose the whole expression is multiplied with suppose any value 5 then instead of this particular one the value or the amplitude will be 5 and instead of this one here this amplitude will be what minus 5 all right so basically this is the differentiation of the rectangular pulse now, what is the question let us try to understand see you are given one discrete sequence x of n is equal to 5 into u of n minus of u of n minus 20 and you have to plot the differentiated output for the range uh, n equal to 0 to 22 with implementation of 1 because in discrete signal we have to keep increment as 1 right and uh, the theory obviously you know uh, the system in jet transformation you know that if uh, 
j transformation of x of n is x of j then the j transformation of dx of n uh, dn is nothing but 1 minus j to the power minus 1 x of j so basically this is our system which will perform the differentiation for this particular signal and from here itself we can get the response that is a uh, numerator coefficients is basically 1 and minus 1 denominator coefficient is 1 and we can pass our input signal or filter our input signal through the system and we can get the response all right so let us try to implement that and let us check whether whatever we have studied in theory is exactly matching with practical or not okay so basically first define the time sample range as mentioned in the question step one is clear now step two define the sequence what is the sequence is defined here 5 into u of n minus of u of n minus 20 all right so 5 into uh, a, u of n is what u of n is represented like n greater than equal to 0 already i have discussed and u of n minus u of n minus 20 right so basically n greater than equal to 20 right simple now uh, what you can do you can plot that so stem n comma x so let me keep it as subplot 2 comma 1 comma 1 and here x level as amplitude and y level sorry x level is what x level is not amplitude x level is time sample x level is time sample y level is amplitude right a m p l i t u d fine now now this we have to pass to the differentiator so numerator coefficients 1 and minus 1 right see 1 minus j to the power minus 1 so 1 and minus 1 and then denominator coefficient is 1 only y equal to filter num comma den comma our input signal x and then stem n comma y and just copy these things x level y level is going to be same and subplot here it is going to be what 2 comma 1 comma 2 and if you want you can give title also title uh, original input sequence let us write because signal is used for defining continuous signals and we use sequence term for denoting the discrete signal so better to use sequence okay and here title will be differentiated sequence all right so let us now check whether our code is working or not so basically from rectangular pulse we should get uh, impulse two impulses one is pointing upward one is pointing downward and amplitude will be what five and minus five right because we are scaling with five amplitude scaling is performed here so let us check the output see this is our input signal which is drawn from uh, 0 to time sample range up to what was our here time sample range we have defined um sorry here 22 up to 22 you have defined right so basically see here up to 22 it is plotted and differentiated sequence see differentiated sequence is what at n equal to 0 see here one spike corresponding to amplitude 5 and at n equal to 20 we are getting another spike at n equal to 20 okay so basically exactly and for the middle part also 0 for the rest of the part also it is taking the differentiated signal amplitude is 0 so basically it is exactly following the theory that two spikes one is pointing upward another one is pointing downward we are achieving okay so this is all for my this video thank you for watching